Monday, November 26, uh, 6.40 p.m. Well, I've ordered a new one of these. Not exactly one of these. To order this would be 70 bucks for a year's worth of service. That's not acceptable in my opinion. This is the ballast from the um, Panasonic Whisper Light fan, light and fan. So I ordered another ballast that I think will work and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pigtails off. I'm going to cut these pigtails and uh, and then mount the new aftermarket one, find a way to mount it up in the fan housing where this one lived, maybe make some like a wood blocks or something to hold it and then to mount it and then I'm going to do cut and splicing and uh, maybe solder and heat shrink tubing and get this uh, get this guy all wired up. We've got uh, two hots and two neutrals for two two of the six of these here. Well, there's yeah, there's six of them like hots and neutrals for the fan or for the uh, fluorescent light, and then a hot and a neutral for the uh, night light. So. But I also did today. Ta-da! Didn't really tell you, but I tore up the old Curdy or Ditra. This is uh, Schluter Ditra for the floor. This I didn't really do it right. Um, when I laid down the original ditch, the Ditra the first time, my my thin set was too dry. It was it was getting on in hours, and it was beginning to dry. And when I put the Ditra down, it didn't stick everywhere. And um, I had a Schluter sales rep and tech rep come, and she, she, her name was Shannon, very nice lady. She came and looked at it and uh, wasn't too enthusiastic, so I, I tore it up and I found more than half of the uh, the underside of this orange plastic material. It's got a fiberglass fleece on the bottom. More than half of the fleece really didn't really get stuck into the thin set and glue itself down, so. Just before Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving, I spent about two, three fun-filled days scraping the thin set off of this about 16 square feet of floor. <laughs> Not a fun job. My hands are still aching, but I ordered some more Ditra, so that's 50 bucks down the drain. And uh, so this time, uh, the Ditra, what I did last time with the Ditra, I, I split the difference and cut it seam was this way. This way, I just had this one piece like this. It's a meter, it's, so it's 39 and uh, 39 and 9 sixteenths inch wide, and then right there. And then for this piece, I used the scrap, the remainder of my my second order, and cut it and fit it. So it's a weird shape, but got it fitted. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I got to work on this Schluter Curdy, um, the wrap on the curb here. Some of the wrapping on the back side, there's air pockets. It was very hard to do. Yeah, there's an air pocket right here. So I got to slice it and then use the curdy fix. It's a caulk. It's this white stuff you see in a previous video. It's the white stuff, and I'm going to caulk it up. And then I got to measure some more curdy fat, regular fabric, and rewrap it. Have the fabric go from like here to here, up, over, down, and then it can come out, you know, three, three inches over the uh, the, the ditra. So I'll do the ditra. Then I'll wrap the curb, and once that's done, then I can finally rent the wet saw, and we can start to um, we can start to do the floor, the whole floor, all the way over. Do the floor and the shower pan. And actually, no, I just realized there's one more test. I have to block off the uh, the drain and fill this shower pan with water, and then do a water check and see if the water goes down. If we fill it up to a like an inch high over there, and after 24 hours, if it hasn't really dropped much, then, then we can declare it watertight, and then I can then go rent the saw. So maybe by Thursday or Friday, I can probably get the saw and start up. So that's what's going on. I'll see you guys later. Bye.